Hello, everyone. Thank you very much for watching today. Today is Tuesday, the 27th of December. And being the last week of the year, going to continue to give you things to think about to get ready for next year and the things to put on uh, your to-do list or remi daily reminders. And of course, one of the main topics has always been prospecting and finding business and staying uh, in touch with your sphere of influence in your database. <clears throat> but today, we'll keep it short today um, and give you a little statistic is that, um, well, let me jump back before I go into this, is that look back on your business. Look back on your business this year, last year, any years before that. And if any of these sales that you had, the clients that you had, that at least have purchased a, a piece of property or a home in the past, they weren't first time home buyers. Any of your first time clients, first time clients that, have, that are, haven't been, are not first time home buyers or sellers. In my opinion, you should say thank you to all the realtors that helped them buy and sell before that didn't follow up with them. So gave you the opportunity to pick them up as a client. Basically, if every realtor did exactly what I'm going to be telling you to do, <laughs> if uh, and follow up and prospect, getting into real estate today would be impossible. That means everybody out there who's ever bought or sell the house or even talked to an, an, a realtor would have people following up with them and new agents or agents like yourself or any agent that wants to build their business wouldn't have any opportunity because everybody's being talked to by a realtor because they're being followed up with. Guess what? 90% of realtors don't do it. That's the 10% club. The 10% of agents follow up. But again, there's only, let's say there's 1.5 million realtors, 10% is 150,000 realtors across the country. And then put it into your area. There only might be a few dozen or a hundred or two, if that, in a major metropolitan city that actually are the top 10% that are following up with people which again, this is the good thing, is that gives you the opportunity to find and get new business and find new people and, and add them to your database. So again, thank all the realtors in the past that did any business with your clients that if you've ever had, that they didn't, they were part of the 90% that never follow up with. So there's a little hint of what I'm talking about. The 10% club. Only 10% of realtors, only 10% of salespeople go beyond three times following up with people. That's it. And, and even worse for realtors that don't go more than three times, we're not selling a product that you could convince people to buy now. They might buy every you know seven to 10 years or sell unless they're an investor or buying uh rental properties or buying second homes or vacation homes or whatever but most agents are the normal buyers normal sellers that need to move need to buy those you can't just stop at three times of following up with these people and hope they're going to remember you hope that they're going to reach out to you when the time is ready hope is not a business strategy Hope is not a business strategy. So your strategy for next year, 2023, should be how am I going to follow up with people forever until they buy or sell a house through me and then continue on with that? What kind of systems and programs and, and time blocking and that I can make sure I'm not going to be, I'm going to be part of the 10% club that 10% of agents, successful agents that go well beyond that barely basic three 
times of connecting with someone. So think about that today. Again, it's it's you, you could Google this. You could read any salesperson, and then even and and even basic business. I've heard this back when I took my first business class in college. It takes somebody on average seven times, seven contacts, seven uh, seeing an advertisement and advertising. It takes a minimum of seven times for anybody to even think about doing business with you, buying your product, visiting your store, whatever it is. That's it's a st statistic that's been around for decades in, in advertising. But in sales, which is slash advertising yourself and contacting the people, I say minimum of seven times. And, and, and it's really dozens and dozens and dozens of times. If you know someone today, they're not buying for five years from now, you're going to contact them several times every year from now for the next five years. The reason why it's not that they might not forget you, that they might be top of mind when they're ready. So they might remember you. You might have talked to them a dozen times. You're like, I talked to them a dozen times in the last couple of years. And then you let it slack for a year or two. That's the year they buy a house because they haven't heard from you. They forgot to call you. They just, I didn't want to bother you. Didn't want to look up your, their, your number in their phone. You didn't build that close a connection with them where they feel 100% connected with you enough where you don't have to follow up with as much. Don't think like that. I always think the worst, that they're going to be buying a house anytime soon. You better be top of mind and be calling, texting, drop buys, all of that. So that's the thing to think about today. The, the point I wanted to make is that the, the good news for you, 90% of realtors are not doing this. The good news for you when only the top 10, there's way that, that top 10% of agents, there's too many people, too many business opportunities and clients out there. They're not going to take them all from you. There's plenty of business out there. There's plenty of people out there for you to put into your database. It's wide open. That's the best part about this business. I tell agents, new agents get in the business. The best part about our business is always opportunity. And I hate to say it is because 90% of the realtors don't take advantage of it. And so thank you to all the agents that don't take advantage of giving the opportunity to the agents that are. Uh, so that's it. That's all for today on a Tuesday. Something to think about. Thank you very much for watching. Remember, call, text, email me anytime. I'm happy to put you on my schedule for next year. And I'm kind of getting through to January. January is getting filled up for pretty fast. So if you want uh, to book some time with me, I'm happy to do it. So have a great day and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.